Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another makeup look of course because this is what I love, this is what I do on this channel. And I used for this look the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette and as you can see, no words can describe this palette. This is absolutely beautiful and it's the second time I'm using it for a video in a very short time. So that's saying a lot. And now let's get started. First of all, I want to say sorry for the voice, guys. I have had the flu for the past week and cough and sniffles and all the symptoms and my nose is still congested and that's why I'm sounding a bit off today. But anyway, moving on to the makeup, I'm using first an eyeshadow primer, which is from Lorac. Behind the scenes is called. And then I'm going to set this with an eyeshadow, which is matte and it's like a bone, um, bone colored eyeshadow. The brush I'm using to apply this this is the 234 Lux Smoky Shader from Zoeva. And then I'm taking the start of the show. As I've said, this is a palette from Huda Beauty. And if you haven't heard of her, she's a very big YouTuber. She has her entire makeup line, makeup company now. And um, this is one of her palettes. Really good. And I also love the greens from it. That's why I think I love it so much. Because green is my favorite color. And especially the mint one. So first I took the dark matte brown from the palette and I am applying it like patting it into my skin and I'm not blending it really hard just the inner half of the lid more than the outer half. I'm going to blend that in a second but not really like making it disappear the line. I'm just going to blur that out. The brush I'm using is another one from Zoeva. It's actually for the lips, you know, like a lip buffer, but I'm using it for the eyes. It's a really good small detailing brush. And as I've said, I'm going to blur out the edges of that eyeshadow with the mint green one from the palette, which is another matte one. And I took for this a small blending brush, which is from Sigma and E36. I love this so much. And I'm going over that um, brush brown edge with the mint green a few times because I don't want to slap that color over the edge and be done. I want to gradually kind of blur out that edge but not too much so that the brown disappears as I've said in the beginning. Now on the remaining lid space I'm applying a very shimmery very very intense dark egg color. This is what it is for me like a greenish kind of yellowish color. Very pretty. I'm doing like a round outer edge of it as you can see. This eyeshadow is so consistent and opaque you don't have to cut your crease before using it. You can do it with it you know and that's kind of cool. I do like the intensity of it. Oh my god I'm sounding like an old grandma even for my ears. I mean uh, I, I just don't have another voice right now. I'm sorry for this. I've said it but I'm saying it again. For lashes, I'm taking those ones. They are really dramatic and um, they are like a no name brand. At least I don't know the name of it and it doesn't say on the packaging. Anyway, I've bought quite a few of them on Amazon and I'm putting them on right now. And then I'm going to move on to the base as I normally do. I will do now my whole base, you know, foundation and everything. And then I'm going to come back to the eyes and finish the lower lash line. After putting on moisturizer and face primer which I've showed you I'm going to use then from Becca the ever matte shine proof foundation which is in the shade nude and I really really do like this one so much because it's very thin the consistency it's like nothing on your face it dries down matte but not like flat matte that you you feel like your skin hurts you know it's nothing like the other foundation from becca which is called ultimate coverage complexion cream and also the name says it you know it's like a cream foundation and it's very I don't know, it's very thick on the skin. You can feel it like a mask and that's a feeling I don't like. So yeah, if you're looking for a very good foundation that has a very thin consistency, not masky at all, that has like a light to medium coverage and that keeps the oils at bay, then this might be one for you. 
For concealer, I took the next Can Stop One Stop Concealer in the shade Natural, which I do like. I mean, I do like it more than the new L'Oreal one they came out with. It's not so drying underneath the eyes, but you don't have to put much because it creases. And um, then I'm going to put another concealer, which is from L'Oreal, the Perfect Match one. And this is very light in color, as you can see. But I'm just placing it in a few areas just to highlight them. The areas where you put your lighter shades are going to be brought forward and the areas where you put the darker shades like bronzing powders and creams are going to appear sunken in so this is the way you can play with optical illusion but i'm going to explain a bit more when i'm applying my bronzer now i'm going to powder down my base i'm using for this the pressed powder from maybelline the fit me powder in the shade 220 and first of all i'm using it on my t-zone and the rest i have on brush on the rest of my face now it's bronzer time and as i've said you can play with the shape of your face not really you know but you can give like an optical illusion you can play with that and uh, what i mean to do when i'm applying my bronzer i'm i want to make my face look a bit longer because my head my face is not so big it's actually really small and i want to make it look a bit longer you know my face as you can see i'm going like downwards with the bronzer i'm applying i'm not hugging my cheekbones very much i'm not doing like a rounded shape around the cheekbones i'm going like in a straight line downwards and that is going to make your face look longer and narrow if you have a longer face then you should hug your cheekbones a bit more you know in a rounded shape because if you apply a bronzer like me it's going to make it even more longer looking so to break it down really simple if you apply your bronzer in a straight line downwards that's gonna make your face look narrow and long and if you apply your bronzer almost horizontally you know like hugging your cheeks as i've said then that's gonna lift your cheeks and it's gonna make your face look more wide and short then the highlighter what it does it lifts your whole face and brings forward the areas where you apply it that means you want to apply it on the highest points of your face and those are the top of your cheekbones along the nose but if you have a longer nose you don't want to apply it all the way down you want to stop about halfway down because it's going to emphasize the length of your nose um, if not and then cupid's bow that's a nice place to place it as well above the brows and yeah that's about it then with the blusher you basically want to do the same thing you did with the bronzer you need to slightly overlap it and go a bit above it as well that's all you need to do but follow the same path now the way i like to apply makeup on myself on anyone else is layer every single product I am using and the blusher is no exception I'm always applying two layers of the blusher the first one is like the base and it's on a larger area and the edges are really well blended and the second one is like in the middle of the first one more concentrated and a bit more intense and that's gonna give a nice gradient of the blusher and a very professional effect right now I'm talking about the blusher but I'm showing you the low lash line which is so me i get carried away so much all the time sorry for this but you've seen what i did i applied the brown along the lash line and then i took this absolutely gorgeous emerald color which is also sparkly and applied it on the inner half of the lower lash line and i also did like a thick flick underneath the tear dot area In the inner rims of my eyes, I'm using as always Black Track from MAC. This is an eyeliner gel and um, I love this one because it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to make you look like a panda after two hours. And I should know because I've worn this on my wedding day. We had like 40 degrees Celsius and it was so hot. I was so sweaty, but my makeup stayed in place and I was so happy because of that as well. For me, that was the first time using it and I did risk a lot but it was all well in the end and um yeah that was the beginning of a nice long friendship we are still best friends 
Anyway, joking aside, I did with the gel liner an inner flick that means the tear dot area ends in a very sharp point. Then for the lower lashes, I took another product that I love and this is the MAC Extended Play Mascara. It's waterproof and it doesn't budge as well. Needless to say, this is another very good friend of mine and everyone that watches my videos from the beginning knows this. To do my brows, I'm going to use precisely my brow pencil. This is from Benefit. I do like this product very much. I have other colors for clients, but this is my shade, the number five. And it's a bit darker than my brow, but I do like a stronger, darker brow, and that's fine. And if you use it like sparingly with a light hand, you can achieve like a gradient, you know, you can apply it darker where you need it, you know, at the base and slightly lighter as you go upwards. Then for lip line, I'm going to use my favorite one from the entire world and it's no less from Essence. Yes, you've heard me right. This is the shade Lovely Frappuccino and I just, I love the shade. I love how it glides on my lips. I love that's water resistant. I love how it's compatible with so many skin tones and I also love the price point of it. Then goes the lipstick from L'Oreal on top and this is the look. So guys, I really do hope you liked the video as always. And if you did, give a thumbs up, subscribe here to my channel and follow me on my social. Instagram, Facebook and Vero are my pages. And that's important to me because I want to grow and you can help me do that. I've said this a million times. I hope you understand. And um, I hope I'm going to see you next time as well. So stay safe. Mwah.